Hi, everybody. This week's parasha of Truma begins with a call. Hashem turns to Moshe and calls to the Jewish people, V'yikhuli Truma, bring for me an offering, says Hashem to the Jewish people. And from there on, the Torah describes all the things that the Jewish people were asked to bring for the construction of the Mishkan in the desert. Now, for a spiritual endeavor, as the Mishkan was, there's an awful lot of material things that they needed to bring, gold, silver, bronze, which seems to be somewhat of an anathema. How can a spirituality center require so much material things? Last week's Parsha, the Kotzke Rebbe makes a powerful observation about God turning to the Jewish people and say, Anshe Kodesh Tiyunlin, be for me a holy people. The Kotzke Rebbe explains, Hashem turns to the people and says, I don't need any more angels. I have enough angels all in heaven. What I need from you, says Hashem to the Jewish people, I need you to be holy people. I need, I need you to be mention. Be a mensch. Elevate yourself. Angels I have, but I need people who raise themselves up to another level. And that's the same message in this week's Parsha of Truma. Hashem says, I have so many material things in the world, but my goal is to take them to another level. The word Truma, the name of this week's Parsha, comes from three letters, Reish Vav Mem, which means to elevate, to rise things up. And that's the purpose of the Mishkan, as a source of inspiration to raise things up. Last week's Parsha, Hashem said, we should raise ourselves up. This week's Parsha tells us about to raise the world around us. We know how to rise, and we know how to raise. That's the message of Truma. It's a Torah thought. It only takes a moment. Shabbat Shalom, everybody.